Okay, this is for the recoil problem, um, which is problem number five in your lab. This is how this one's going to work. Let's go ahead and read through. Um, I haven't changed up too much of the information. The students are still the same masses to kind of show you like what the difference would be. So 40 kilogram student, I'm going to go ahead and just start. 40 kilogram student is at rest with another 50 kilogram student on the pond. So it's with, so they're together. Bam, so here's my before. Here's after. The total momentum on this side of the equation is going to be zero. And I'm only going to have final uh, values that are not zero in the final side. So when I subtract one of them over to start solving for a missing velocity, that's why I end up with negative uh, momentum equals positive momentum. Notice that they're both final. It doesn't matter too much, but oh well. All right. So the 40 kilogram student is at rest with the 50 kilogram student. So right now, I, they both got MVs, right? Yep. <clears throat> These end up being zero, right, because they're not moving. Right? They're at rest. Okay. The two students then push apart and move in opposite directions. All right, so that's going to look like... They're 40 kilograms still. They haven't changed mass because this is a closed system. 50 kilograms, they move in opposite directions. Yeah. Um, the 50 kilogram student moves with a velocity of positive. Remember, this side is positive, this is negative. Four meters per second. So, what is the final velocity of the 40 kilogram student? All right, so, over here we have 40 times. V, final, plus 50 times 4, all right? All right, so let's see what we got to do here. Let's do some math. So this whole side is 0. 50 times 40 is 200, plus 40 times V, final. All right, so I got to get rid of stuff, so that way... Um, I can solve for B, right? And there's zero over here. So I got to subtract this 200, move everything over to the other side. Minus 200 from zero, right? So zero minus 200 is going to be negative 200 equals 40 times velocity final. How do I get rid of 40? Divide, divide by 40. And how many times does 40 go into negative 200? Let's see, negative 200. Divided by 40. Should have already gotten it before me, but oh well. Uh, let's see. So we got negative 5 and its velocity, so it's meters per second. And negative 5 means it's going to the left, which is consistent with what we got here. Negative 5 meters per second. Okay. So I use basically the elastic collision equation. Right. You see that I really didn't change anything. But when I start subtracting to move stuff over to the other side, that's how I end up with this negative negative equation equals a positive equation because I use the elastic equation to move it over. So if you really want to simplify things, you don't even have that middle equation in that list, that number two. Uh, it's really just the first one and the last one. And honestly, it's, it's all just the same equation, but I simplified it for you. All right. 